Good morning, folks. We're starting with something that scared a few folks the last couple of days. Mercury was visible beneath the sun from Stereo A Core 1 last week. Now, you can see it on Soho Lasco C3, Mercury conjoining the sun in just under three days. It has a tremendously inclined orbital plane, as you can see, and when heliocentrically conjoining Earth like this, it reflects the least amount of light at absolute conjunction, just like a new moon. He'll re-brighten upon departure from the frame. Quickly, folks, as we watch a dying solar prominence. Tonight, Tuesday, June 17th, is the second stop of the Mobile Observatory Project. We'll be in Columbus, Ohio, in a suburb called Pickerington. We'll be at Rule 3, starting in late afternoon through the evening. We're combining the fun science stuff with a venue that's a Chuck E. Cheese's for adults. On to Italy, Mount Etna, Europe's most active volcano erupted into the night. They might have seen it coming with some pre-eruptive tremors at the region. And once I learned of the eruption, I waited for European nightfall and kept an eye on webcam Etna. The link is for you guys below, so if you have some time, you can probably see some very cool stuff today with the eruption continuing as of early this morning. Decent article came out yanking quotes and notes from an ESA release discussing the solar cycle for newbies. But as was pointed out to me in a message, the last paragraph is the money shot. The sun has recently broken form, is weakening, and that weakening is likely to continue. If you are scared of solar flares, that might sound like a good thing but it's not. And last night's second upload breaks down the potential disasters on our planet with a coming grand minimum. You can also find it on the climate change playlist on our channel page. Don't like fear mongering, but there's nothing false about the historical famine and disaster patterns. Our quake uptick went into unusual location mode last night up in northern Alaska and in the northern Atlantic. Central America took rumbling as well, and we can assume that that OK shake is frac related. The other location of note this watch is Japan for having multiple six magnitude downgrades with the only tropical storm on the planet now heading directly at that location. More weather. Yesterday's low has moved past New Zealand, while the next one is over Perth and cresting the west. Precipitable water overlay confirms with the northern areas of Australia likely under a watch as well. In Europe, we continue to see the Mediterranean as the main actor. Thunderstorms surround our erupting volcano as a powerful high settles in north of the UK and Ireland. You'll notice a tilt from southwest to northeast in today's convergence, changed from the straight north-south position yesterday. That will continue literally all day, and by tonight our converging air massage will scrimmage on an arc spanning most of the northern United States. Storms to the north and south should be less severe. Took another gamma ray burst last night out of the Cepheus constellation up north. We took some density waves in the solar wind, followed by mini speed ramps, and now some more density. It is minor and barely perturbing the sensitive flux. It has been more than 24 hours without even an M-class solar flare. The departing group up north, trying to complex as it exits. Behind him is a big loner. Down south, the former X-maker is regaining a negative umbra at the backside and a move to monitor, while the incoming spots appear to be largely interactive and potentially set to gain complexity. Currently, the coronal holes are in spades, north, south, and a gnat right in the middle. Interesting that despite the primary visibility of that weak equatorial opening, it is not represented on ISWA's coronal hole panel. Let's trust our own eyes there. But we can usually trust the filament detection, which comes off the H-alpha network rather than the SDO, and the two primary plasma filaments incoming are easily visible in 193 angstroms of light, along with the central coronal hole we noticed earlier. Calm star, earthquake watch remains. I the storm zones, folks, and come see us in the Columbus suburb of Pickerington tonight. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.